Ladies and gentlemen, within 4 minutes from now, I will be showing you how to create outline or stroke effect for your photos and images using Inkscape. Here in Inkscape, I go to File, then Import to get the photo that I'm using here. The photo I'm using here is completely free to download and absolutely free to use for any purpose. If you want this exact photo, then check the link in the description below for you to download it. It's absolutely free for any purpose. Now. If I try to adjust from this corner edge now, I will be losing the dimensions. I use Ctrl Z to return to the original. Then I need to lock this padlock here. So I lock this padlock so I don't lose my dimensions. Also need to, I also need to turn off the snapping tool here so it's be easy for me to navigate within images. Now I can drag freely. I right click on the image, then duplicate. You can use Ctrl D to do that as well. Keep the duplicate here. Then the one behind, select the one behind, then go to filter, from filter to color, then colorize. Colorize. Now this will pop up for you. Now when you click on, when I click on live preview, you will see that the trace of the image is still visible and it should not be. So to take care of that, we go to option on the colorize option then the normal light should be on zero i can use this minus button to keep it on zero or drag it down from here now you can see it's on flat color now that's okay back to color then you can choose any color you want now if you have it on rgb if you have it on rgb you may not be able to select the color you want easily so it's better you leave it on either these or this then you can choose easily choose the color you want now in this video i'll be using a very bright red for this particular one a very bright red i think these are okay now now i need to apply once i click apply the check for live preview will turn off that shows it's done so be careful not to click apply two times so it will not be a double effect now it's done then i pick this to adjust and increase a little from the side and also increase a little from the top pick the original image and place it on it. If you want to make adjustment to the object behind, the red behind, hold the ALT key and select. ALT and select to pick the object or image behind, then you can adjust. That should be okay now. I right click on the original image at the top and duplicate. Just for me to show you how to create the one for double layers, double layer outline. I duplicate that, pick the one behind, go to filter, color, colorize and here I'm picking this yellow this very bright yellow live preview to see the way it is I think it's okay then I can apply then I drag it I drag it behind I drag it behind the original image this is just another way to achieve the result Keep it exactly behind it, perfectly behind it. Drag to the left to adjust, drag to the right to adjust a bit, just a little, and a little at the top increase as well, a little increase there. Now to get the red, I can get the red that I already did here by holding the Alt key and select. Then I use Ctrl D to duplicate, or you can just create the red afresh the way we did for the red and yellow. So I hold the Alt key, then I select it, use Ctrl D to duplicate to get the red out. Then I also increase the size a bit. Use this button here to send it to back. Then I use the arrow key to adjust for perfection. I think that's okay now. And here's the result. You may want to see my videos on all this. All these and many more are already in the description below. Please check them out in the description. It will be good if you subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. That is, you like this video. All these really do help. And as I always do, thank you for watching.